Hello and welcome back. I'm with Color Warfare to show you more. Lords, Lords and Villains? Oh, Lords and Villains. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Hopefully. Pretty sure last week I said the one line at the beginning. <laughs> Which is very nice. Okay, words. Hello and welcome in the chat. Hope you're having a nice day. Well, nice to if the if any captions ever under completely understand me, you know. <laughs> Don't forget to follow. Oh, okay. Hopefully, that's run well. Not too shabby today. I've been actually working on the D lately a bit too, which has been fun to do. The wolf D. That's what I've been working on this morning. I did all finished all these signs and now I just gotta finish up the last two bits of animation. The hell did I just see? Who the hell is voting no further with your people that have an opinion on what affects is them? It's like saying, Oh mate, you can't have you can't have an opinion on what affects you. And if that happened, those ones would be really whinging out this year, weren't they? <laughs> There's this little thing going on on in Australia where they're trying to get the elementary people to have more of a opinion in Parliament. And you know, fix them, I believe it's been so far. They're like, oh, you got to tell us the most detailed thing ever. Uh, I don't think you really need to. <laughs> That's what the media's been up to. I swear all you hear on the news is the person kit. No wonder half of them are not doing well. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to say there. How's it going? Oh, only one drop in the amount of time we started and that's good to see. Hopefully it's not been too bad. Oh, it's a goose. I was going to say duck, but it's a goose. Oh, we got to make goose, don't we? But these little bastards are bite your hands. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, what is? We're ready. Knock that out. Um. What am I gonna do about over here? There's like such a scatter mess. I'm gonna jump across the walls all small all the, all day long, man. <laughs> It's been good and bad, I guess, in some ways. Um, I'm trying to look for for things to show you. Make sure that we're on the light screen here. Don't want to see the endless tunnel. Oh, we did show that off once. That was an experience. Oh, we'll stand up with one of the coolest chocolate cakes yesterday. Oh, that oh, just a good mud, chocolate mud cake. Good thing I got a takeaway because it was too big to have in one sitting. So I got two cakes for the price of one. Like, gee, I still paid for one amount. <laughs> but it's still nice. I got two servings of one cake. But a lot of times that's what they are, those big cakes that you see out in those cafes. So here's a purple mushroom I decided to add into the Darkwood Forest. This boy has been around for a long time. If you are curious, he isn't really new per se, but he has been around. And what then there, we just got... Change his size, small Jack. There we go. And then I just gotta pick whatever season he can get to go in, you know. Um. Hmm. And then whenever he's finished the end, we'll like it unalive. 
They could die. Oh, whoops. I don't know. Eh, well. That's a strange one to come up with, isn't it? I'm not sure someone else will probably wish read that. They could die. <laughs> no, I didn't expect to say that today. Well. Uh, yeah, at the end they can die. They kicked the bucket. That's the one I was, I think that's the one I was planning to go for, but then I went off to that. <laughs> it's a little like, oh, I'm going to go over here. Oh, I'm going to go over there today. Hit off the walls. Bouncing off the mall. I probably should have went outside and had a walk, but oh well. I also wanted to change them up so where you get the paint, so you can see the paint you dry on it. Like have tiles where you dry on it. I haven't got to that point yet. Because I want multiple of the objects. I want like multiple state objects, you know, like in a way multiple animations is saying the word of saying it. To the point where you can slowly see some a job being done. It might not be, I don't know if the people will physically do it quite yet, but you get the idea. It's just to see a job being slowly done. The biggest problem I know what's going to happen going forward. I personally, myself, as the creator, likes to keep sides together so it's um, easier for you to do, like to build. But I know later on that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to keep like crunches together. I guess if we keep our baselines to the sides and anything we had added into the play animation is what I'm trying to hint at here. We'll probably be... Good old saying goes, uh, words, words. We'll be adding as groups. Like, if they had a, t a fancy new attack, it'd be added at the end of this track. Same with anything else you put in. Also, gotta put a well and dodge in there. Okay, also with this farmland, I'll try something here. So, what I'm thinking about doing with this farmland is to figure out with. Even actually. Oh, whoops. <laughs> even to figure out how to make the farmland. You know, we can make the farmland um, reappear or dis disappear over time too, over the year. Which actually would not be a bad idea, seeing as if we're going to their kind of culture beliefs, because that's what it is, they have a culture of belief to respect the forest and to have a fine going cop. But they also don't mind the, I didn't actually mind them have the idea of making stuff out of wood that they respect the wood enough to where well, they will make furniture out of it but they will make sure they replace the tree you know and we go the tree they make sure that art and what they're doing is sustainable more than unsustainable it's what kind of culture i want to give these guys there probably will be a culture realm in the future that will be more unsustainable as what these guys have done and these guys tend to be up in here for a long period of time. And then over the years, as these people have gotten more used to the area, they have become more sustainable over the years too. They have learned more from their environment, it is what I want to do for them, which I plan to do. To the point where I actually want to make sure that. It shows, get to a point where it does show that these people managed, and if you how to get to showing that these people did manage to basically live in the forest without it being too unsustainable to have a large city in it. It'd be nice to get into that more. So what I plan to do here is probably change, we rotate the fields, that should be a big thing if I didn't actually get, could say that clear enough. Over for the years, where I take the field, so you might not see this um, farmland it disappear, that it will reappear later, like it's been dug up again. If you know what how farming works, usually you gotta dig up the land and adjust it, fix it and everything like that, and then you gotta chuck in the seeds. That's super vital version of it all, isn't it? 
I think I'm going to show you put out the weeds. Do it on. I think that's how it would be. I think it'd be like, um, whenever they need to be cloned, they dug out. But I might also put, like, get these spawners here. This is a um, spawner that will spawn in ender tulips. Reason why they're called ender tulips. Over the years, so ender tulips only grow in summer, which means they are spawned in on summer. See how they got start and end month. So end month is on play, that means it will end at the point of spawning them in. Oh, I guess they go for autumn then too. <laughs> then I have to get code to read the if they have a child. Don't put any on. But I think the lazy way I've been doing it, I think it's been working. Although it probably wouldn't be the most effective thing that works. I might have to put code in that says no more children ever has more than one. You know? Yeah, basically all it is is just a node similar to the um, spawner code. All it is is just adding one to a plant. This also gives lays way to the ability that you can pick up these plants and sell them or eat them or give them to people. That is what I intended to do with it. And the reason why I make it like this. And also with this too, this is pick up range. I actually need to go look for that, don't I? Uh, actually no, well, I, okay. So here, here's a area where to pick up range. So I have to fix adjust that to where it could be universal on the, all the plants and you could pick up the plants. You can basically go for a little bit of foliaging. Anything like big, like cutting down trees will wait come later. Or even if you might not get that either. I say, uh, if that ever happens, I think I'll make sure it gets to a point where the duck will fall so people will hate you if you do too many trees, knock down too many. And technically that's your character's actual, your character's technically from the first area. I mean, that's what I'm going to go with. Because they're technically from... They're, they're the resemblance of the younger generation from the Silver Blake City is what I plan to do for your character. For the main character. And they just happen to be in this town where you start in with. It's a hometown. I think that's what we're going to go with. Also I knocked out the arrows from being like follow the mouse around because I don't want to do that anymore. I've changed my mind about doing it like that. Because you can easy I don't know if you play games like Boom Wing Food, you can easy just turn around and be like, yoink, I wanna fire at you. See so it doesn't actually change rotation. That one still follows the mouse, but and with also with that water bottle, with that person bottle, what I was planning, just hoping to do was to throw it, have the ability where you can throw it straight to here or something like that, and aim. Throw. Not do more complicated code than I think about that one. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I still got my phantom noise. I seriously, I have tried to like go rid of it today, but it's like, no, I'm here. I'm here forever. <laughs> Someday we're gonna find it. <laughs> Someday we're gonna murder it <laughs> and find it. I feel like at this point, even if I got rid of it on the light on the wane, I think it's light wane. It wouldn't. It was still one. I feel like <laughs> it probably haunts you that much, you know. Okay, let's get to the game. I thought I feel like it's in the position of doing. It's like I will haunt you till hell and back. I did actually attempt to get into the. Infantory today, but that clearly did not work, did it now? Actually, I'm pretty sure this is the sound. Yeah, it has to be. So it is the light wing sound that's being in our pain. I'll knock this out, Godot out. Well, I can hit um, the deer up. 
just in case um it's he's slowing down or everything a bit. I guess I'm gonna wheelie, but just in case he's taking up the end a bit too. I wanna at least probably get tiny parts out of this series, I think it'll be nice. Well maybe that's asking too much. I'll at least get ten out of this series before I ever move on to another series like the other like. Just if you want to know the future standing of the series. Ten or above is what I like to get out of it. I think that's how I'm probably going to go with these series. My mouse is still tank as hell. It's like so annoying when it does get that. It's like so feeing whenever it's not tangled like this. If I got an idea you get, I got a mouse bungee just to prevent this. I mean, it doesn't prevent it entirely, but <laughs> it was worse before. I don't have the exact full space to do it. That's um, the first thing, isn't it? They don't have the full space to fully do it. Oh, it's a photo? That's good to see. Continue. Hmm. I was just thinking here, maybe we should do a full female army, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to follow. Nah, gee, I'll keep him external. <laughs> I wonder if Clans Bike 1 would be nice to play. And Wobble Dogs 1. But, for me to get in the position of playing them, I need to buy them first. <laughs> That's where we come into a problem, as the good old saying goes. Now, oh, something when I'm rich, I'm not going to be waiting for sales to buy these games. I'll have to wait at the moment where I am at for sale. But someday when I'm rich, I won't do that. Might as well give them the full weight. Just if you ever wonder what hello and welcome comes from, I just couldn't send a one saying hello or welcome, you know? Just hello and welcome. Sounds like two. Sounds like so badass, you know? Gotta do two at once. Oh yeah, I forgot that you only get to hear my sibling voice now over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that for what's outside is to um, minimize the range for the volume sound. I could probably add saving to the volume sound later on too. I don't know, I was tracking on winter first time I tried to do it. It's like, I hate you. And I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to deal with you, you know. Just, just fine, then you win <laughs> that game, you know. That's what we were playing with it. Oh, I still got a hole in my roof. It's a holy roof, isn't it? Damn it, you should be being that roof to church. If you actually don't understand that joke. <laughs> Told ya. A lot of religious talks and being my language. No, oh, there must be a bit of wood down there. Oh, that's a shelf, okay. Well, there we go. Knock this bit of wood down. Come on, little people, build. I'll oh, go bash that bastard. Bang, bang, boom. Oh, this is my general. <laughs> yeah, remember when we did that? Okay, someone still has a doorway. Okay, people. Oh, okay, not that one. Wanted to be a responsible person and use the other door. The proper door. Oh, we gotta put some sticks down. It's a good way to get rid of some extra sticks. I find that to be the most powerful resource to use to make. No, oh, sorry guys, I cannot accept you in. I find that to be one of the more powerful resources to use for making moves is the sticks. I could be one, could not be one, but I find that's the easiest one to have around a lot of. That isn't straw. 
I mean, straw could be more plentiful, but straw would be something that's cheaper and more inefficient. Oh, I'm gonna put word path down. Um, what was it? Oh, Windmill. I was trying to see what Windmill, if I was trying to keep a little glassy area, you know, where the windmills lie, but I don't know how long, much longer I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> it was very inconvenient in some ways. Damn. I didn't get to see your better stuff, dude. How's it going over here? Well, at least you guys want to know when I miss and when I cross off to something, cross off to do something else, don't you? <laughs> uh, I mainly do that to see what you guys are up to, mainly. We still got a hole in our wound. I take addition, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense too. No, at least I find my jokes funny. That's all that matters. If everybody else doesn't, well then, I don't know. <laughs> that's you. That's a you problem, not me. That's a good old saying, guys. Insufficient storage. No, you need more glass storage. Just. Why do you guys have a bunch of sticks anyway? Good to see they're actually um building so like that's it too. My lovely carpenters. Oh we also got some miners. Oh god, these guys are actually gonna need to build the house. Someday someone will check. I think I'm gonna go half and half. I think we'll be bound it just in case these carpenters get to here first. You know? Never know who's gonna come here first. Um, how many of these people are needed? Four. Oh, okay, we got enough beds. Now, oh, good. You guys are on the job. Eventually, that has to probably be used for something else too. Might um knock it on to a future use for a different type of building, you know? Uh, okay, let's go with with this. I'm pretty sure these people are rich. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, yes. They can actually pay the ten bucks. But you guys, how much you guys? You guys definitely pay ten bucks too. Um, what about you guys? I'm gonna have to bring you guys up slightly. Oh yeah, definitely. You guys pay. Actually, I'm gonna make you guys pay five just in case. Cause the farmers and the um loggers tend to be a bit more. Which are then probably have more more wool resources to sell where more people can buy those wool resources than anybody else, you know. How are you guys going over here too? Assigned family, look. Oh they got two gold. We can at least I at least wanna bring you guys up to four. Cause I'm pretty sure you guys have been here for a little while yet. Oh, Catherine's live. And you guys are just brand new, so you get to not be worried about wises and price and everything. <laughs> not as long as I'm not mistaken, they should be alright. You know, 
feel like the sound's all working, but it is at the same time. I don't know. Whoops. I have selected the wrong thing. There we go. That's what I'm trying to get selected and pausing. Ooh, very yawn. Damn it, they're gone. Okay. I still don't know what's going on with my point of view. How's it all saying girls? Don't know. Some reason my leg is itchy for some reason. Which is really nice. Oh, my beautiful horses. Oh, I forgot about them. Kind of. Silly, what else are you selling on here? Planks. Hmm, I got a lot of wood. I got future areas ready to be set up. Look at this, moo cow. Who's selling moo cow? <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, you selling moo cow. Hmm. Horse saddle? Oh my god, we need to. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, I got enough pennies for it. Also, I want to buy the moo cows and then give it to the other families for free. So I don't have to spend their money on it. So we're going to get you. Male moo cow and female moo cow. Now that's all theirs. We probably should be in good favour with this family. We're basically giving them cows. <laughs> A ton of cows. We should be all right. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't realise they did that. That's really nice. Um, how is the miners going? We might need to help them financially. No, they can have a dollar. There we go. I'm probably like that which person's like, Handing out a lot of money and they're like, do you know how much this is worth, dude? I mean, I'm not going to give it up. I'm like, nope, here you go. Have fun. Have fun with all your pennies. Seems like we also need to have a bit more wood too. There you go. There, hang on. Yeah, there's 50. Give them 50. Do they have any acorns hanging around? Does anybody have wasteful acorns? Okay, these guys are already witcher than the miners. So oh, good. <laughs> um, there you go. There's tiny of them. So you can be able to roof on your house. Also good to see that they're more likely to buy shoes now too. I might buy some of them, but I can't buy them. Sell them off cheap. <sighs> what about you guys? How are you guys going over here? Hmm. Oh, well, you want to get rid of acorns? And a lot more wood, God. I mean, I can take all that wood for you there. Here you go. And also, I take two, and then I am gonna steal that wood from you. Hmm. 
Full 100. Um, and all these uses acorns that you tend not like. And here you go. I, I sweetened the deal by giving you another penny too. There we go. Another gold coin for you. Now they probably hate me now, but hey. There you go, Macaws. Go back to your new family. Oh, I end up getting that sound bundle too, which is really nice. I've got to get that sound software working and have a look at it. And figure out how to use it. I need my nice to have a fine bed. Unless I have two beds there, it should be alright. Yeah, this could be a shit old place. <laughs> um, these places all got wheels on it or not is the next question. I guess eventually they will have a whip on them. Well, I guess it still works that way. They have a bit of straw down there. There's been some nice improvements they have added to the game. Knock out the things in the middle of the house. Oh, these guys are pretty lucky. They've been getting fancy um, beds. Whoops. <laughs> well, it's there now. <laughs> it lives there now. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get too hot next to the fire. <laughs> I just can't be bothered to, you know, change it around, so that's where they're going. Construction service by Colin. Colo or whatever. Hang on now. Hopefully it's not too laggy for you all out there. I'm still gonna do, put my internet to the best way it could be, set up to be. Whoops, I am spilling tea, what nice. More over the uh, mouse pad. Hmm, gonna end up pizza tonight. I don't have to cook tonight. Ooh, I did it last night. <laughs> As I say that, oh, this one wants to be special. I get it too. Why not go backwards? Because you might not all time be able to cook backwards in the future. They have doubled the manpower now. You know, I am going to the fact that there, there shouldn't be a war here. There's no war, need for a war to divide. There could still be a door. I mean, hey. Eh. You went for the trouble of building the door. There you go. Oh my god, horsies. We have saddles for the horsies now. <laughs> yes. We can ride the horsies to the to, into the sunset. The horses. The room for horsies. No, maybe that's what I should call it. The horses. I should have um, stole that wood by now, I think. I don't know. I mean, if they sold it, they sold it. And I'm not going to go over and be like, I want all your freaking wood with a knife pointed at them. Even now, no. Oh, it's snowing. 
in the middle of winter. You know, this is snow I am. Although some places don't snow in Australia, if you are unaware of that. Apples, 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 apples. And this is the snow that's prominent in my series. Well, at least in my series, I've been new. It's been, um, what do you say? Cold from the snow more than being than more than actually snowing around them. <laughs> oh, I mean, cool. More people are coming along. Yay! I might have to make another womb. More wombs. I can put one down here. Um, what are you guys doing? Just ruining the sunset, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really them. <laughs> oh, here yeah, I've knocked out what I was trying and what the teaching of watching. It's myself. <laughs> if you don't actually understand what I'm doing. I gotta fix up my YouTube channel, don't I? Yeah, for tomorrow I will have to, I'll have to bring that back up later. It might not be a thumbnail for tomorrow's video, which is my next problem. Oh wait, technically this is. Oh no, hang on, no, last week's stream is technically tomorrow's video, or maybe not. I don't know what I'm doing half time. <laughs> Can't remember. Oh yeah, I forgot about sideways seat. Yeah, come on, build the lands, my friend. Build it all. Fun. There is my general. Oh, my soft happy sin, not yet. No, it looks like they won't be selling. Ooh, do they have piggies? Oh, piggies! What are many uses for pigs, aren't they? Except for finding truffles in the food kind. They're based on animals, too. They aren't really stupid. <laughs> That's what I was told why they weren't actually farmed much in the area because they were very smart and a pain in the ass more than anything. Resist the force non clubby wood. Oh, we got hunters. Interesting. Interesting. Free family. Hmm. What do you guys think? Shall we take them in or not? Ugh, it might get too cold. Might as you wait till later. To take them in. Now, what was I reading? Here. I might as well, you know, do planks at this way. Oh, we do birch. I thought birch was always a lot of wood. Hmm, that could be one. And oak up in here. But then we get a hundred one there, yeah. You know, in Australia you don't have really um birch, but you do have oak. Oak isn't that common uncommon of a type cheap type you can find in Australia. I mean, gum is everywhere. The clippers, gum trees are everywhere. I don't think there's one area in this whole entire country where you wouldn't be able to find it. Why do I have two campfires over here? This poor place would be a bit toasty. 
I, I mean, we need one of these, please. <laughs> What if we make this tavern really large so people get to live in it, get to come in it more, you know? And then we get more people flushing through the system, buying our resources, and our people get to buy the fancy shit, you know? What if we do that? One, two, three. One, two, three, that's six. Oh no, my kill drive by a more than one. Oh well. Hmm, I did two. Never respect the city as always as much as I ever have as do I move to them, haven't I? I just really like home to organization. Very interesting to see where you can find these type of areas in these city areas, you know. And as always as it has been lately over the since I moved to close to the city areas where you get to be able to get in there. I mean, I'm not quite in depth in there. I don't know how well. Oh, okay, we don't need Phantom Bird. How good life is really in there. I reckon the only problem with the city is if, if you got rid of petrol cars, they would probably be the healthiest area in the whole. in. out of all the areas that isn't directly farm bush. Farming bush areas where the people do a lot of work, but even still, then probably the proper city areas where there is no cars using fuel. That's the next problem. Biggest problem is cars. So if you got rid of um, if you all your turn all your cars to electric cars or less emissions from cars, then cities will be one of the most healthiest areas you can ever be in. If you really think about it. Well, you may if you wish or not, but that's my opinion. It's healthier than um, like suburb areas or smaller towns, especially now as we are far away from everything. It'd be healthier than that if you're not consumed by wind and everything. I reckon that's what it is. You gotta get not quite in the middle of the city where you're paying high enough rent that you're so stressed out and you barely can do anything type of area. You need to be out just outside of that area and, to, and still be close enough to everything where you can get at least help if you were kind of and everything like that or be able to access the shops because that's the biggest problem with rural areas is they don't have the access ability to where a lot of people in the city does. And what comes down to the problem with and windshield people to get too is they don't have the accessibility to these areas and support. A lot of ideologies from those rural bush areas is that they do not like the idea of the city things. They don't know what to, they don't they basically always have this attitude where they always be left behind and everything that They've never really cared, which is trying to show back in for the past scene. They've been cared about. And the boss down there. That's the next problem with a lot of these um a lot of these isolated uh, Windsor communities do is they share the same thing a lot of isolated will communities do. I guess that technically they are our uh, uh, will communities is that they far away from everything. And truth be told, what you need to do is get these areas to a point where you're moving these things into these areas. You need to be more there permanent. It's good that they at least somewhat trying to, some people are trying to get there temporary. 
like solutions, but you need them to be there permanent in a way, you know? Or do I sound like an insane person? <laughs> I'll take that. Do I'll take that because I'm going to sound like an insane person. But that's what it is in the talk areas. Those areas will be five times better off if they got the proper help they require in those areas. It's probably the biggest thing with Australia is that if you helped out the people in rural areas, fix a lot of the um, power solutions, get them renewable energies, if all you did was that, then you are probably one of the best governments that have ever been recent in history. And one of the ones who leave a lasting mark on the country. Because you should be, we should be getting to ourselves where if we get to a point where, if we're careful about it, we can get to a point where we come to move away from, we shouldn't be turning into fascists. <laughs> Like America seems like they're going to do that. I thought they seemed like they seem like they're going down that whole pit. But if we end up that's a good thing about this ad winter law in some way is get rid of those ones who wanna be in fascism in some way, you know? Cause the religion isn't really that much big, you know. Don't know if how much people can, other people from different countries can handle that, but the Australian religion is not that big. Since you highly likely to meet someone who doesn't believe in religion, then you know someone does. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still 50% of people with religion, but 40% of them not religion? And the religion part is made up of all different types of religions. Then we form any of the Asian religions, and then you got any of those different types of um, Christian religions too. The Winjay, they are based on Catholic religion. A lot of these, a lot of those type of religions are too. Let's see, what are we like? We actually don't really need much from this dude. Oh. Well, that's how it is in some ways, isn't it? It's so cool in some ways that this country is just, over time, this went to a non religion point of view. If what you put, did was put the signs first, then you are going to be a pretty powerful country. That's the problem with. I believe China will never actually truly get to be a powerful country because of their broken capitalism system. They aren't come. They aren't like whatever they call come. Chinese Communist Party, isn't it? Yeah, they are a voluntary capitalism. If you don't know what they are, and that is the worst kind of capitalism you can never get. Yeah, sorry, I can't say the word properly. <laughs> if you look into it, it is this horrible idea and system. No, oh, still selling eighteen of them for free, okay. So let's say what you should be getting for your crafting system is that every man should be at least allowed every per every man and woman should be treated equally. Have the ability to have easy access or even to the point where they say they get free access to clothing. Have it easy access to housing, where housing isn't like a traded item. Housing shouldn't be considered the same as a piece of art. Housing is a necessary thing. We're saying with food. If food was cheaper, it'd be good for you, better for you. That's what I mean. You need to find the perfect balance between. So then, at least you got to make sure the farmer gets a profit too, not just the big company who sells the product, that's a problem that we're running into these days too, you know. This is just probably turned into some politics thing, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, there's the beliefs that I probably don't want to put on you. Or get you thinking, I don't know.
Oh, these guys. I need to take away the acorns. <laughs> um, acorns. Can I pinch them more so I get to make a profit? I didn't hear a um, disagreement. I'm going. Um, here is 40 bucks. I don't know if you're getting a better deal out of this or I am, but there you go. Uh, how are these little people going? You know, like, one thing I'd like to do is be able to build on this bridge. Imagine how OP that gets, dude. What kind of buildings we can make with that? Oh god, look at these. Oh my god, I've so many cows for days. You guys want cows out there? Got enough here. <laughs> Funny chairs being squeaky if you haven't, if you're not hearing it. Um, it's, I mean, it's been annoying me, so I don't know. Um, sell. Well, I want to sell these moons of cowards I have hanging around somewhere. Oh god. Hmm, yeah. Actually, I want to change this to 600. I want to do free, there we go. Oh, cats have been sold out, okay. Alrighties, I don't understand how that disappeared <laughs> so fast. Um, let's sell. Mm. Let's sell some of these guys. These guys need to be sold. And watch them just disappear. They can be sold to anybody. Um, we also want this. 400. They can be sold to anybody. Oh, hang on. 400. There we go. Boom. Oh, there's a dude with the um, dude with the fatty truck again. 100, look at that, god. Cafe van. I mean, you have apples on all, Jack. Pinch everybody's apples. Now oh, someone's coming out to an hour. Escape-o. <laughs> Kitty out. Oh my gosh, shit, there's someone, there's someone, um... Half dying probably out here. Oh god no, they're, they're important. They're the carpenter. Feed them for their prison. Or do we have to, whatever comes first. Who will, who will come first? Building them a bridge or feeding them from their prison? Come on dudes. The, this poor person. Oh wait, are these two both females? No, 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 male and female. Oh, come on. I thought we might have two badass carpenters. Female carpenters. Oh, they must have not been out here for too long. Hmm. Get them affected, get them with problems, you know? Uh, this poor person. They just put off all the pennies already! <laughs> Um, don't worry, that could, I don't know, that might be not returned to your family, but am I at the same time? <laughs> I'm unsure. Hmm. 
Uh, you kind of gotta wait to get paid from the prison, I guess. <laughs> I know they chuck their pennies so they get to sleep. Oh my god, no. They're starving already. Oh no, it's someone else. Oh, holy shit! Why are you guys getting stuck in here? <laughs> No one I've lost ya. <laughs> um, you move this. Nope, hang on one button. We move this, please. Nope. Not yet, dudes. Um This one's probably been here for longer. Shit, dude. We need a poorly system. Or they get to build a bridge. Whatever comes first. There we go. Save the carpenters! <laughs> I've just imprisoned the carpenters! <laughs> Two people got stuck in a hole this time. The cat cat's trying to tell me they're stuck, dude! And no one's trying to help. I am just gonna mark this position. Mark this, the coffin is a stallion. <laughs> prison. I'm just gonna call it prison. There we go. Could you just build your way out, sir? Please, build your own way out. Oh my god, that, he's gonna die in there, isn't he? Oh, oh no, just rescued him! Oh my god, thank god! We got one saved. Come on, dude. Oh my god, this dude is a legend. He's definitely... Hopefully they don't get stuck again. <laughs> so then, then they will. <laughs> Dude is legitly a legend, man. He saved them all. I believe they shouldn't get stuck in there again. Let's go. I want to tell you I have enough faith in them that they won't get stuck in there again, but I don't know guys, I don't know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. Fun, yeah. Well, there's something to look at. Don't look too, don't look too straight into the snow. Not the zoomed in actually, I think it looks better zoomed in. And stay into the snow for too long. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, these people don't even have a campfire in Well, I'm surprised they haven't got cold. I forgot about the campfire once again. Um, where the heck is it? There we go. It's just like, I don't know where, why is it, it's in like this weird corner, you know? It's just, I don't know, something about it, I just can't see it, you know? I mean, I guess I am halfway blind, but I just don't know, I just can't see it. Oh, bear family, hello. Now let's kill it. <laughs> let's kill them all. <laughs> Now nah, today they get to live, don't worry. No, oh, the lucky bears, I say. We need more tables. <laughs> I had a really nice dinner, like, 
Lunch out for yesterday was really nice. Out and about. Really good kind of money they made. Oh my god, the dog, doggy. Oh, let's forget to check out. Make sure there's a dog family. <laughs> Horses. Okay, we need to like demolish this. Whatever the heck is going in here. Add it, it's fine. Well, they are slowly growing, putting in the. Oh, I might as well have done. Oh no. I did half and half. Oh no, I did do normal fences. Look at my fine seeds, uh, seeds there, yeah. Uh, I was about to check out, see what you guys got for alpha, but no, they're done. <laughs> like, well, good now. One hundred fish, god, I, I can clearly see where all my fish disappeared off too, can I? Hmm, what else are we gonna sell? Well, I guess we can sell tiny pumpkins. Oh my god, they have dogs. Ah! They have dogs! What am I gonna do, dudes? They have dogs! <laughs> I'm clearly a dog person, but I don't know my cats, I guess. <laughs> they have dogs. I'm surprised I'm not being in my current family. Oh my god. Mm. This is so hard. I will accept. <laughs> Hmm, it can be over the water, I guess. I also got this land, don't I? I will have to see this carriage. Oh, I got that. Sign house to these new foliage dudes. I'll make you pay, hmm, two pennies that we start off with, so you get to grow some monies. Then eventually I will make you pay more. Just, just for the winning agreement, I will eventually make you pay more. Not exactly completely charity, but it is meant to just so that you get on your feet and then, well, you kind of get it from now on. It's meant to be so help you just get on your feet that you'd be able to pay me better. <laughs> I'm really not going to shortcoat that part, <laughs> but that's what it is, so then you can pay your fair share of money and then you don't end up being half struggling in. Wow, I am I have a complete opposite ideology to the modern day system that we all live in. <laughs> or the western world lives in, I guess. Forty percent, and we want you guys. I'm also gonna need a small little miter boss too. Later on, just in case we need something ourselves.
We need a bevel. A well. Collagen over here. I'll have to put that in a different order, but oh well, this is what order we're committing to now. I'll put a shelf in. Hmm. I guess there you go, you can have fancy cabinets. Then fancy chess, where's the chess? Then we go get tables and chairs down here. There we go. You wanna have to get chairs, where's chairs? <laughs> bum 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 bum. There we go, we can set up like that. Then over here. Oh, we can have some outdoor feeders. Yeah, so <laughs> they spit that word out, you know. This is like one coming out, it's like mm -hmm, struggle editions, you know. There we go. So it's nice and functional. Oh, we got some new people coming along. Oh my god, they have sheepies. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I still hope Sunday to be able to get a wool shirt. You know? Come on guys, I need the wool goodness. Oh hey hello guys, they're all settling out here in the wilds. Carpenters. I have to get um, the stone masonry coming in soon. Oh now you're finally got carpenters I see. No, they are more expensive than I could afford, but lucky for them. Oh, yes, let's go buy some stuff. I need to buy these buggers, buy. Bye. Sheepies. You know, you can get sheep milk if you <laughs> don't know about that. Sheep milk would be really nice to have too. Very odd if you're not really used to it. Then over here. Um, I do want any spare string just in case you need a yarn. I gotta channel the systems in on a jag and do the yarn and everything.
Go to the flowers. I'll plant you these buggers. Here's your farm animal says. Oh jeez, I got some big cheese out about. Oh, that's nice. They're probably like the family who likes me the most. <laughs> it's the farmers. Everybody else probably does not like me that much. If you look at the like respect that the family gives you, I actually would be hmm, kind of sad. It's not the highest that it can be. Where was it? You see it somewhere along there. Oh, we go. See, we're excellent. And see, this one is almost there. That's all of them are next to them, but this one would be the most. Nope, these guys are kind of. They're good. Nope, these guys are excellent. They, even if I accidentally. I guess they put themselves in all. Because I really didn't, didn't I? Hmm. No, he must have married into the family. Oh, she did. One of the other. Oh, yeah, we can also just get a, a family and make them into, um, slaves. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the cows. Pet the cowies. Although, what do they in real life? I don't know. Cows don't seem like they're the most appealing thing to bet. <laughs> Give me all the milk in the world, Mr. Cow. Unless you're a male cow, then I don't know what to do with ya. <laughs> I guess you make more make more cows, which means like they get more goodies. So they it's windy all of a sudden out there. Look about the rain looking like outside land is. So I'm still being hurt. Yep. I don't know. It feels so weird not hearing the game sound. Just hearing almost nothing. Yeah, that's dusty. Hmm. You know, it's a bit rainy this morning. I think it didn't do me much good actually, um, almost going down the bed like really late last night, doing all the whining stuff. At least I'm pretty sure lighting. Don't know. I I have like doing that whining stuff like for while I am like whining in general. While I'm for whining, that's what I was doing. But I don't know. I'm half and half on it, you know. <laughs> I like doing it, but I usually end up doing it later. Later, and then end up spend being up late, and I usually would do. All about doggies. Oh my god, I love you doggies. Oh my god, yay! Oh more farmers. Uh, then we get to have more farmers later on. We're gonna need them. Hmm. I don't know. Free farming is pretty good for them. In in the uh, Emmy. In the uh, I don't know. Yeah, this is the reason why I probably won't be win ever win any names out just for food drivers. <laughs> Cause that gonna be that well. Oh, if you've been watching this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Oh my god, what is she doing? Is she feeding horsey? Grooming the horse? Oh my god, beautiful. Look after these beautiful stallions. Oh, that's the word I've been looking for <laughs> all this time. <laughs>
about male horse to make babies, horses. Um, let's be not oh, milling. Seven members in their family? Oh god, that'd be OP. You can skin down on that those family members too, if you know what I mean or not. I don't know. Mm. Um, I'm trying to say you that you could probably put some of them into being slaves or what why is so just there be warriors of the great lands. Oh, do we even have like feeders? No, my cows might be starving, but <laughs> soon as they are free range cows, I'm more of a genius than I look. <laughs> Type of moment there. And my sheepies. At least that's the one thing they don't have to worry about is the animal starving. No one has to worry about them doing that. Have to later on bring the mums in here. Pretty sure nothing too bad happens when the fee wage, if you know what I mean. I don't think anything bad happens. I could be wrong. I haven't seen them all die. As of yet. So it must be all right for them to just be free wage animals. <laughs> That's what I like to do for all of my games is that hey, animals, go out, be free, you know. That's why basically, mostly all the farms I had in the Sedgwick Valley has been is my farm members being free ranged. Well, they can, they, I must have trained them so I'm track to come back home, but that's about it. <laughs> I've seen someone um, train cows to move to a new pasture, which is good. Good thing to get them trained on. Watching a video with someone who trained the cows to do that. Oh, I'm surprised the pumpkins took that long to sell out. Now, there's a romance going on down there that already in the marriage. Keep it there. Let's see, let's check 100 on here. And, and 75 for you. Oh, I forgot to bring my bottle in here. No, oh, at least I got a bit of water. Ah. Very interesting. See, that's trying to go with many. Woohoo! <laughs> That'd be really nice sometimes to be able to form their own families a bit sometimes too. Or to be able to split the families in some ways. I know it sounds brutal and bad, but you know, you know what I mean? Or not. Here we go, we will take all the acorns away and we will give you anything you need. Oh, no, I'm good ball. <laughs> oh, whoops, I stole their money. <laughs> um, here you guys go. Um, here are two pennies. I'm thinking, oh god, we'll have to do all my money so that I just stole money from them. And then I just gave it back. 
Yeah, they aren't gonna like me for doing that, are they? They're just gonna be so confused what the hell I'm doing. Oh, whoops, we need a single bed. Then we need a bench. Ah, look at these clay bits in the middle of nowhere. Feeding animals! Ah, oh, cool, now you're finally telling me about feeding animals. My animals have just been foraging the lands. What to the poor cat? Is the cat okay? The cat's looking a bit purple. Oh, there's a phantom pitch all over there. I feel like the cats are not okay, you know? I want you to be planting a bit more apples if you're not already. No, oh, okay, no. Oh, there we go. I feel like I didn't put very many apples in there, you know, at the randomizer. It's like, oh, I want a lot of pears, not a, oh, I want pears and apples too, man. Oh yeah, there's also a bully I gotta go to some of the check that recently we opened. I was gonna go down there at some of a different time, but... Apparently one time I wanted to go there was when they were window mating. <laughs> Nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice if you're old enough to go to one to go have a look at one. And there wasn't just like you can go for beers, you can go for gin or wines. Gin, I reckon gin's a pretty cool one to go to, personally. Okay, so that one I'm really being to, but just as a heads up, dude. They're only nice to try out. Things of you interested in those type of things. Hmm. You should um never feel like you should be ever pressed to ever drink alcohol. Like that is something that I've seen a lot of people do, and you should never feel pressured to ever do that. <laughs> yeah, we went to the restaurant and probably I was probably like the only person who didn't order any type of alcohol. <laughs> I'm like the I'm probably the only adult who was old enough to drink who didn't have alcohol in their hand for where we went to. Like for the nice lunch because it was probably past time to serve alcohol. But that's basically what it is. I find it to be annoying, personally, to be like, um, to have a, a bit of alcohol out in the middle of the public, you know? After you personally, but that's how I feel every time. I don't, um, do some wonderful men judging out, out in the public. But you know, I never actually, when I turned 18, I, I was in, turned 18 in the middle of um, COVID. And I was pretty unlucky, so I had to. Ooh, toilets! I like the sound of toilets. I had to wait for a little while before I could get <laughs> a drink on like outside lands, you know, like out, out and about. Ah. Uh. That's actually the first time I've ever had um how I ended up having gin was because I ordered it. Even though it was expensive, 10 bucks for the change, it was, it was worth it. That's why what you should do if you're interested in trying gin is try it out somewhere nearby where you, you're of age and you can illegally drink the alcohol. Give it a try. 
I find wines to be annoying too, a bit more. That's my first opinion. Okay, I'm trying to find, think about home for Tyler's. Taylor's. Hang on, what? Tyler's Taylor's. Wait, is this like a um, potato tomato? Uh, no, potato and what's the other one? I was gonna say spuds, but this is an Australian one too. There's no one to add to the list if you don't know. Um, sometimes in Australia, potatoes are called spuds. Tomato, tomato type of deal, you know? That sounds like that's what it is. Tyler, Taylor. Or is it single pronunciation? I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> The confusing shit once again. What I feel like as an Australian, I tend to understand, um, then I've heard of a lot more variants of words than most people have. Like, if you weren't Australian, I don't know. Or is this where I've always grew up in is a area where I have basically been around people who have speak in the bush language, you know, it's Australian slang, and also being around, because uh, I grew up with YouTube as a kid, and you watch it all the time, and you watch different people, mainly most of the time it's either some people of English and mainly American, but I watch people of Eng English people too. As long as you speak English, I'll be watching you. But those are the two most common groups because they mainly speak English. But sometimes you watch other people in that too. Like you learn some of their words too, if you know what I mean. I don't move that door. And then you also have some exposure to the strange slang and then um slang around here too, um, the area you're into with old slang and a lot of um, where my parents are from have a lot of old English slang too in mixed in with their Australian slang. So I'm pretty sure my poor mother will confuse you <laughs> if you don't after the other time. Of course you will um, so you guys the old English way of saying tea for like your afternoon, like your final meal of the day. And then there's a lot, um, brunch. I don't exactly know the origin of that word. There's another one there. That's the biggest problem with a lot of, um, Australian saying. Personally, for me, I have no idea what half the words I am saying originated from. It could be anywhere around the world and I wouldn't have known. Mm. Or just some bugger was like, yeah, yeah, I like that. I mean, I get that. <laughs> I feel like I would, I would be the same, like, hmm, yeah, cool, that sounds really nice. Let's let's go with it, dude. Type of, thing, type of style, you know? What I mean or not. That's how I feel like. That's what a lot of my, um. More. Oops, better not put that as in a prison. Stranger words come from. That doesn't sound why it is sometimes. It's me being like, yeah, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna say it in my own book over there now. Basically, what it is sometimes. Oh, good and hood is one. If you haven't heard me say it or have, I don't know. But both, I think. Uh, do we have an outside door? Must not.
Insufficient storage. What about is this? Down here. Okay. Can you like this move them to a different position? Is that so hard to ask for, you know? <laughs> Let's go with shelves in here. Bevel. Uh, let's go with the firewood. Whoops. What are we looking at now? Oh, 30. I don't know. No one's got. Uh, I've always been nice one time. I once got 30. And. Uh, what's it say? Basically, that would I just put one no. Look at the time in their opinion too much, you know? And there's one thing that has frustrated me the most. I know I was in school when that happened as a kid. Like, I wasn't an adult at the time or being told that, which no wonder it annoys me. And I would have been a younger kid too. annoying is sometimes. Never judge anyone for looking at time, dude. Ugh. That is the most annoying thing someone has ever told me. No, oh, not really the most annoying thing, but you, you get the idea. It's one of the more annoying things that someone has told me once. Enough that every time I think about it, it, it angers me. You should never tell anyone that. Not everyone's the same as you, and, and not every, someone does the job that you don't want to do as well as that person, as you do the job that that person doesn't want to do. I know that sounds like a strange way of looking at it, but that's the truth I find is that you better be nice, you better be nice to each other because that person might do a job that you don't want to do. And it might not be as considered a like, bad job. If you know what I mean, it, it, they don't just be doing a general job, but you don't want to do that job. The type of judging mental ideology is so annoying. Well, it's fascism, I guess, in some ways, isn't it? Uh, well, let's give these poor people a whiff, you know? I'm not that cool. <laughs> let's just think for that now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Who oh, am I? I don't know. You never really know what you This building's gonna be so huge. No, more careful. Are they gonna have more emblems for me to steal and then give or buy and then give to the other people? Oh, cool! Their beds are finally made. How you going, there, wolf? Wolf gate, wolf dingo. Gate lord, wolf dingo. <laughs> you left the name. I wish I could space that. That would have been so cool. <laughs> That's the next best thing, bud, isn't it? This one looks after the horses. Horsies. Two general labors. Hmm, let's go and put away farm. We might have to have a farmer sooner or later too. 
whatever's our next best opportunity for the best farmer we can um, gather will be our best turnover type of way, you know? There we go, finally. We can do the whole move. Look at all these people, yeah, let's buy everything. Not everything, I'm not that rich. <laughs> but you get the idea. Let's buy anything of wealth. Anything else we can steal. So we want to do the noble people, so we have to get to that point, don't we? Oh, again, yeah, dude. I'm really trying to steal your cards, but it looks like no one's stealing them. Unless they keep getting more icons. Icons. That makes a lot of sense. And if you keep getting more, but it seems like the same number, so it's a bit of a coincidence in some ways, then. So these guys being able to be rich enough where they can just easy buy the... Um, what's it called? The yarn, whenever they need to. I feel like. Actually, I'll be back in a moment, so. See you then. We're back. I've opened up the window a little bit and little Gizmo has joined us. I still gotta do, I can't wait to do his like, um, emoji, you know, someday. Hopefully get to do that. Miss Sunny's on. The cool dog. I reckon that'd be so cool to do. I'm just, just a heads up if you don't, uh, don't know, um, it's probably not a real dog, just, just, just for, uh, I guess, conversation, isn't it? And, I don't know. It's most a wild dog. I don't think it's see kelpies that much unless they're in a Australian based dogs, don't ya? That's why that's why little gizmo is a kelpie. I just want to draw up a kelpie. I've done a bottle collie. If you haven't seen the bottle collie, me drawing up the bottle collie and unknown dragon, then you probably should have looked at some of the dead blogs. I'm pretty sure I named the dead blog called Bottle Collie too. Well I've added the bottle collie in. A beautiful dog. Pretty much I've thrown it off quite a little bit, I feel like. Tax pain day of camping is arrived. Button. 
that's what kind of level I look for these people is so that they get to easily be able to live off whatever the heck they have, you know? Where they get nice shit. This to me, the ideal um, capitalism system is that you get everything you need and still have enough money to be living quite nicely. Oh. Dude, what the hell, man? Let me guess, the other one's in the other hole. <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding me, man? That <laughs> hole would never be done. Might as well chuck a door in here. <laughs> Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> they all got themselves in prison again! Um, we need to, like, mark that. Okay, here we go. Prison... Oh, spelling. Prison 2. See, look, Gizmo knows when to join. <laughs> He's like, oh yes, I can sense bad shit's gonna happen. Come on, dudes. I need you guys to build doors, please. These guys aren't the blightest. <laughs> if you know what I mean. They aren't the blindest and everything. See, little Gizmo knows it all. Yeah, I want to do little Gizmo like Sonny's on to be so nice. He can sense it all. Hmm. Damn, it's almost August for where I'm at. When streaming this live, it'll probably be August when I put this on YouTube, but when doing this live, it's almost August. Wow. That muff is going fast, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't end up getting 10,000 words for the um, month this month. And also end up having a computer that died. God, that month, this month has been pretty hectic, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, now the screen's going excellent. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's just like, now I'm going good for you now. It's been a bit like that within that when I've been watching shows. I still find it funny how the um, little party in Australia just went and effed up the internet forever and then they're like, oh, maybe we could use this for our advantage and then they were shit, we effed this up, what are we going to do? Oh, well, not much. <laughs> not do anything because we're lazy. There's a difference between being productive and lazy and just being clean old lazy. Oh my god, a child! We have children. Ha 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 ha. I just reason why I set out like this, don't I? Isn't there? Oh my god. They're pregnant. Oh, we're gonna have to see build in our bed. Now, those are the most moving on guys I have hanging around. God. Where's everybody else not getting pregnant, you know? Guess my tell me. What do you think? Are they not getting entertained enough in some ways? I guess they entertain themselves, so I don't know. But then that sounds like I'm off the insane solution to make it did. Oh, take away all, all, all freedoms. Wow. <laughs> I am some, someone's gonna be bitching about me someday, then I'll bet you. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god, there's gonna be someone doing that. Yeah, of course there's gonna be someone doing that. You're always gonna have haters, dude. Haters will always be on. 
It's impossible to get rid of them. Oh my god, sheepies! Sheepies. Whoa. Sheepies. Sheepies. Bye. Bye. Sheepies. Sheepies. We have sheep gizmo. <laughs> These poor guys pop us down the bottom and like, yep, yeah, I'm taking them. You know, I might as well kick the sheepies. Sheepies are my sheepies now. I was planning to have at least some sheepies so we can have them in this area. Ah, see, the horses do return to the area eventually. We've trained them at least to return someday. When do we get them to be rideable? Adult horsey, adult horsey. Look at these fine steeds. How they become rideable? I want, I want someone to ride horsey. <laughs> to ride the horses. What do you think is my? What do we think? Watermelons. I don't know why they caught me off guard. No, has that text really changed? And I just didn't realize. I feel like it changed in the last five moments, five minutes. <laughs> and then I was like, thinking, no, that's impossible. <laughs> I've been on here the last five moments. <laughs> last five seconds, dude. Forty. Hmm. I might get more string reserves on track when I'm doing them or see them and remember it. It's different between seeing it and then seeing it and remembering it. <laughs> then you gotta do that job, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we can buy some other things for these people. Fisher people are more likely to be poor because see they only have one product to sell. And how to make a successful country is to have more than one product to sell. Never make one product your main selling point, you know. That's how you become successful in here. Make sure that you don't have one revenue where all your monies are coming in. You have multiple. Although, if you knew how to do it, you'd be almost better off paying them to do the fishing and getting most, getting 80% um, of their, or oh, 90% of their harvest, at least they to sell the other bit. At least you can also give some to the um, religion buggers, the acrylic ones or whatever they're called. That'll be about the best way of doing it. Mm, I sadly can't teach all these people how to win white. I mean, I would. <laughs> teach them all how to win white. Even if I don't like winning white, they should be taught and taught it. Hmm. Look, his man just rested and all. Oh, we need still need to find um, one of our guys' armor, don't we? Don't forget about that. That will be an important part in everything. Hello again, Rubisman. You're on the bed now. So you know that that area is being built, that's really nice. Oh, I still haven't put a fire in this place. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what, I don't know what's about it, but it's just like it, I can't see it, you know. It just doesn't exist. When I first threw it, all the time. Oh, 
Oh, I made this one too wide. Oh, well. Do I turn them into better beds sooner or later too? Yeah, that's why I went with like the idea of the Darkwood Forest people eventually learning to use the stone so they get to be all better in stronger houses. And then they upon upon that because they used to have so much wood to make houses, they used the wood to make more furniture and more different types of furniture down there too. Turns an advancement of that. Um I kinda of butchered at the moment. Not in the position of them yet. That's why I feel like the history of the Darkwood Forest people and the way of building is that because when they figure when they came into making stone bricking carving stone bricks to make stone houses more effective which is not really a much needed thing due to the fact it's a temple bomb but it was becoming it, it was more effective than wood as soon as you Okay, if that everybody wants to be noise at the same time out there. Yeah, you know, as soon as you, um, what's it called? As soon as they started to do wood more, um, not wood, stone houses more. And eventually, well, they really got into clay works and everything. That culture had to become, that culture could also come outside from outsiders too. I suggested that to them too and figure and tell them how to make this kind of stuff too. Are we open to that kind of idea put into them? That the outsider showed them how to build things? If you know what I mean. Because to me that, that seems like a really nice idea to go look into it because that's what happens to all of them. It was the fact that they could easily build put in a position where they could eventually come to a position when they could easily build their stone and clay roofing so they wouldn't have to use much of the wood. Which makes some older houses, I have to build older houses, but that does have that wood. The shed that kind of like the sheds that old wouldn't look to the bit hailings. So it's more convenient having the cut up wood. Like playing centers to make a house out of logs. Even technology like that, that, that could be an interesting thing to look into how they um, generated that out of. Been there, you know how they actually got a lot. How they went from planks, went from wood to planks. Well, you know they might as well just be a bridge out here, little deck out here, you know. Might as well be <laughs> at this way, you know. And that's what put a little bit over there. The beauty and convenience, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, here we go. Bridges. Outside's being noisy. Outside lanes. Hmm. You'll have to almost finish up soon or later. Oh, 
I was meant to um, watch a video, but now I can't remember what it was. I, it was important for me to watch it, but I seriously can't remember it at all. <laughs> nice, isn't it? I probably should have seen this one coming. We probably all should have. Can you feed your um, family member from this prison, please? Oh, okay, nope. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, okay, they're gonna do it. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my family would be more worried about me if I end up locking myself in the hole. No, actually, that'd be something my sister would do before I would. <laughs> I'd be pretty worried about that. <laughs> Actually, hang on. No, I'd be the one more worried about it than the parents. <laughs> I'd be like, shit, woman, you must do that. It's basically how I would be like. Ah, oh, good job. Thank you. Carpenters are so cool. They got the little carriage being along with them. Oh yay, they're making chain. Why don't you have to figure this thing out? I forgot about that. She always feel like... Yeah, I don't think we... I. Th I think I want to lessen this down the frame so then they don't really focus, they focus on everything else so other than that. Oh yeah, we still got to, oh okay, <laughs> shortcut door, I see. <laughs> what kind of door it is. Um, we've already got miners, so we don't really want more miners. That's the next problem. If we get more miners, so then we're going to want problems. Ah, it's popular looms. You don't really think about how you do the looms, don't you? You do everything. There's so many different ways to do something, too, a lot of times with these machines. These. Have they? So, no, they haven't yet. Be interesting to see them do it someday. Knocking down all the wood stuff. God, not knocking down. Um, making the flooring. Hmm. Hopefully they aren't going too badly over here, this family. Oh no, they're going okay. I might have to put a, but I might have to demand an extra three dollars. Or extra dollar. Silver coin. As long as they're mainly just paying for the soldiers. I mean, I would like to pay the soldiers someday more money than what they're getting, but this is what they had. That's why each one of them get two, so we have to make sure we have enough for them. Well, they didn't like how these little places. What do I got here? Fishy, alcohol, oh, alcohol people, bloody people. Oh, they got a lot of acorns. We might have to pinch the acorns. Yeah. Let's go seize all the acorns. 
So we help them get rid of that problem. I am not going to steal the dogs. <laughs> I am not that evil. I don't want to steal the dogs. Uh, grant them. That's going to, um, $40. Alright, bet you. Let's give them a dollar. There you guys go. And what was that? I found me the wood colors. And here's a dollar for you. There we go. Enjoy your pennies. Oh, that kitty just got shut down the way by the horse. Oh, horse is on a mission. <laughs>